So please uh, shuffle the cards. Who doesn't love a good card trick? I'm going to ask you to pick a card, and then you're going to put it here. We're not going to look at it. However, make no mistake, what you're watching is no illusion. It's actually a creative illustration of what's possible at Dust Identity. My claim, or the system claim, is this is the king of clubs. And in fact, it is. Ophir Gathon is co-founder of this Newton-based company that's redefining what's possible in the world of brand authenticity. What we want to deliver is trust to people. It's how they deliver that trust, which is rather mind-blowing. Here is where we do some of our light manufacturing in-house. Dust Identity uses actual diamond dust to create a unique fingerprint for documenting all sorts of items. Think of it as, as a constellation of stars. So the fingerprint is actually made with the fact that there's all those random diamonds that are distributed on the object. If we use the deck of cards as an example, each one of the 52 had previously been marked with its own unique diamond dust identifier undetectable by the human eye, only when it's scanned using a simple cell phone, adaptive lens, and app is the identity of the specific card revealed. They think of it as a, almost like a spray-on barcode that is very, very secure. It's so secure, the U.S. military has called on dust identity for protecting and identifying mission-critical systems like parts for fighter jets or other defense applications. And it needs to be small enough to fit on something like a computer resistor. The minimal footprint is actually the cross-section of a human hair. So it's about 100 microns by 100 microns. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Other markets are also taking their word for it, including the world of art and sports memorabilia. We've tagged this helmet in multiple places, and I'll ask you if you, if you want to try to find it. Tyler Williams is director of sales. One of them is actually right here on the back. Right, My right on the bottom there. You can't even see it when you point it out to me. Yeah. <laughs> Williams says, according to the FBI, anywhere from 70 to 90 percent of memorabilia products can be faked. So when a dust identity diamond fingerprint, which is unique in the universe, is applied, registered, and cataloged, an item is now both trackable and identifiable. The individual collector, today, we want to protect them and help them by working with the organization that are producing, that are harvesting those game use items. So we want to make sure that when you're holding something in your hand, you can trust it. And along those lines, Dust Identity has recently marked two Super Bowl rings for future identification. Although I've been sworn to secrecy, I can't tell you for what team, I can't tell you for which players, but let's just say you probably know them. The intrigue. <laughs> Diamond dust. Did you have to sign an NDA for No, that? he just said, I trust you. All right.